Hi there and welcome to another edition of Tuesdays with Corey. I am in my special my special place, my special MSP series, uh, and I'm talking with a set of MSPs. Very exciting to hear some of the awesome work that they are doing to help customers move and modernize to the cloud. So please, uh, uh, tell us a little bit about who you are and tell us a little bit about who you work for and what, and what you do. Sure, yeah. um, I'm Greg Davidson, I'm yeah. from uh, Auckland in New Zealand, okay. uh, and I work for Datacom. We're an uh, um, IT company uh, based in New Zealand and Australia, about 5,000 people. Um, we're actually doing quite a wide spectrum of different things, okay. including software development, application management, managed services, network management. I Got can it. keep going. But yeah, yeah, there's a long there. list. Got yeah, it. Yeah. Okay, great. And now, if, uh, for Datacom, do you guys specifically focus on Australia and New Zealand, or is it a broader reach? Uh, well, we started in New Zealand. Okay. We now got a really good presence oh, great in place Australia. To start. A great place to start. Um, yeah. And then we got a small presence up in Asia. Up in Asia as well. Okay, yeah. great. Got it. Got it. Okay, cool. And so for the for Southeast the, Asia. Asia's Southeast Asia. Place. Okay, yeah. got it. So people in the U.S. can't w wouldn't buy from you today. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, actually, we actually we, we work with some, some organizations up here. Fantastic. Uh, we do quite a bit of work for Dell. Okay, Helping perfect. them in the Office 365 space. Oh, okay, great. Okay, yep. so this is interesting. So you support customers both when they're modernizing both on the uh, Office 365. 65 side and on the Azure side, so you yes. sort of all, yep. okay, got it, cool. So they can basically come to you for all of their all of their needs, which is great. Yep. So on the Azure side, um, you know, when you're helping customers move into the cloud, you're helping them sort of consider what to do, right? Um, uh, you know, what are some of the things that you you guys look at particularly to help customers make this transition, right? It's a tough transition for a lot of customers. Um, uh all customers are different, but yeah. I think I think I think I think there are sort of three key parts to it. There's an assessment, which is looking at what they've got. Got it. What's going to move easily? Right. Where, where there's obvious benefit, and then the things that they've perhaps got that are going to be harder to manage or move sure. to the cloud. The second bit would be how to migrate. Yes. But the important bit, and the bit that I think's probably got not got enough attention, is what it's like in run state to operate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah to operate. Got it. And so what you don't want to do, you, you want to you want to keep efficient operation, right. which is something that that of course, or even improve um, their operations if yep, you can. Yep, yeah, yeah. So, so so the cloud enables you to. Probably the most significant difference is more dramatically automate yes. operations. Fantastic. And so as you do, you migrate. What you want to be doing is transforming it to a really efficient run state. Excellent, excellent. So when you say automate, um, uh, this is the full range of the scripting and uh, even changing applications, or is it mostly keeping app applications unchanged? Uh, it can be anything. Uh, uh, I mean, obviously, a, a genuine born in the cloud application is a completely different, different beast. architecture. Totally. Yeah. And so if they've got things that you know, if you're doing it as part of them targeting delivering new services or as part of a digital transformation, you might build something completely new. Got it. At the opposite end of the spectrum, if you consider the traditional role of a serv managed services provider, it's going to be about costs, efficient operation to high service levels, yes. and get it, removing risk. Yes. And so you have yes. the opportunity to automate many of the traditional tasks. I see. Rather than have people sort of deliver them through process. Got it. So you're so you something very important then that 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 I think you guys that you you look at and focus on one. You obviously take the whole spectrum, right? Whether it be born in the cloud applications and sort of building fresh, but also yep. then this lift and shift. And and your key point here is that hey, your classic service provider in a lift and shift type of environment, it would be we ran it here. Now we're just going to run it. Here. Here and you're saying, whoa, hold on, that's actually maybe not the right. You probably approach. won't get an efficient. Run you're stuff. gonna you're gonna go change yep. your operations. You're gonna go and we're gonna help you get there, even though we're the service provider that's helping you. So one of the biggest things to think about is the change in discipline when you go from managing capacity to managing consumption. Yeah, I got it. You know, the number one thing that happens to customers when they go from capacity that's to consumption way of putting it. I like that. is consumption explosion. I like that. I like right? that because if you take all the traditional barriers to provision. Um, New capacity right. away, or what do people do? That's right. They the just, physical they barriers just, they are just gone. Consume heaps of it. The physical barriers are gone, yep. so now they do yep. whatever they want, which is then a yep. different set of problems. So, <laughs> so the first thing you're doing is you're yeah. heavily helping them manage consumption. Yes. Now, it is possible through automation to do a whole lot of things that ensure that applications run more efficiently. What you want to do is have transparency, yes. help people understand where they're creating cost, and then give them the ability to make choices about switching things off, switching things off when they're not needed, controlling this, um, automating, yeah. understanding what's being heavily used, what's not. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay, very cool. So, so that's awesome. It's, uh, it sounds like that's a, a big focal point for you guys, and it sounds like something you do you do very well here. So, um, if I if you had one sentence here to say, hey, you know, this is or a couple words, whatever, that yep. this is what is great about Datacom, what would what would you what would you say? Oh. 
Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't prepare you for this. I should have. No, 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 no. I know, no, no, I should no, okay, have prepared. I'm, I, I spring these things on people because I just come up with them. It's terrible. Um, <laughs> yeah, you definitely sprung me on I know, you, I'm you, sorry. You yeah, definitely yeah, sprung yeah. me on that one. A, a single word, what makes us different? Or you can make it a sentence. Um, make it a sentence. How about a sentence? I don't, I don't, need, I don't need a word because I couldn't describe a word for Azure that makes sure, it look, awesome. It, maybe. It, but perhaps if I talk about what, what I hope our people will bring Perfect. to customers. That's great. Okay, I hope they bring expertise. Mm hmm. I hope they bring some insight. Yes. And I hope they bring some imagination about what's possible. Yeah. Okay. That's that's great for, for 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 feeling like I sprung it. I think you 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 landed a really good answer. So okay, okay great. So with that, thank you so much. It was really great talking with you. Um, and thank you guys so much for uh, for joining in. Uh, we will uh, take questions if you've got them on uh, uh, Twitter with hashtag Azure TWC. So we will we will uh, look for questions and we'll uh, make sure that if people have questions for you or sort of want to get in touch with you, we can uh, make that connection on Twitter. So thank you so much for your time and thank you guys and have a wonderful Tuesday. No problem. Thanks yeah. very much. Of course. Of
But you'll, you'll see me start off that way, so we'll be fine. Okay, yeah, yeah. that's fine. There is no four. There is no walls here, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> Freedom. All right, are you ready? Yes. Okay, all right. Yeah. Give us a clap. All right. Oh, I didn't do it on the last one. Sorry, I'll work it out. All right, fine. I, I always do. Yeah, good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's so proud. All right. You ready? You good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, I, right. I hope so. All right. 